Hey there guys, welcome to this tutorial series where we're going to be taking a look at some of the best tips and tricks onto creating a cool and cinematic intro. Now they're only going to be short tutorials but they're going to be some highly detailed techniques in which is going to improve the quality of your work. So in part one we're going to be taking a look at this cool light sweep that we can do across our logo or our text or anything in your composition and it gives it some nice glow and shine and it really does add to the impact of your intro. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead, and open up After Effects, and we're going to import our logo. For this example, I'm just going to use this Impact logo, and we're going to go ahead and create a new composition. So composition, new composition, we'll make it 1920 by 1080, and we'll make it 10 seconds long, and we'll hit OK. Now with our logo, we're going to go ahead and import that into our timeline, and we hit S on the keyboard, and we just go ahead and scale that to fit. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is we can rename this to logo and we can hit Control D and duplicate that and we'll call this blur. Now on this blur layer we'll go to effect, blur and sharpen and add a directional blur. And for the blur length we're going to go ahead and increase that up to maybe about 250. And we can also go ahead and change the direction to fit however you like and um, we'll maybe put about 30. Now if we hit F4 on the keyboard to bring up our mode, on the blur layer we can go ahead and add it, just so it's not too dark. And we can also on the blur layer go to effect, color correction and add a curve. Now if we add a slight contrast we can just decrease some of the edges, just so it's not as obvious, it's more of a subtle effect. And we'll hit T on the blur layer and we can go ahead and change the opacity just to be a more subtle effect. Okay, so once you've done this, we need to go ahead and sweep it across our logo. So what we can do is add a mask to this blur there. So we'll grab our pen tool up the top there. And what we're going to do, we're just going to add a nice rectangle over the top of our logo, like that. Now if we hit F on the keyboard, we can go ahead and feather that out. So maybe around 100 pixels. And we'll hit M on the keyboard again for the mask path and we'll go to the start of our timeline. We'll set a stopwatch for the mask path and we're just going to go ahead and move our mask to the left of the logo. And we'll enter and then we're going to scrub forward to maybe around 7 seconds. Well, it depends on how long you want and we're just going to drag it over to the right side. And now you'll see when we play this through we're getting a nice sweep. And what we can do is maybe feather that out a bit more. Now another little touch that we can do to this, if we duplicate our blur there, we'll put it under the main blur, we'll call this uh, subtle blur, we'll hit M and we'll just delete the mask, so now we have got the full glossy back on it, and we'll hit T for the subtle blur, I'm just going to fade that down just so we've got some nice lines happening in the background, and again you can go ahead and play around with the curves to get a nice contrasting look. Now you see and we're getting this nice effect, we can play around with these values. And once you've got this nice sweeping action, we can add a new adjustment layer for our color correction. We'll rename this to CC. We go to Effect, Color Correction, add a curve. And we can just add a nice contrast over the top of this. Maybe play around with the different color channels, we can bring up the blue channel. And if we also go to Layer, New Solid and add a background, We'll make it a dark grey colour. And again you can go ahead and play around with the blue channel or the colour channels just to get a nice look. Now once we've done that we can add a nice glow onto the colour correction channel. So effect, stylized glow. And you see that's going to have an impact on our whole text. You can play around with the threshold until you get something nice. Maybe increase this and play around with the glow intensity with uh, 0.5, maybe 0.2. You're now going to see we're going to get this nice sweep happening across our text. And another thing we can do actually, if we just darken our logo for a second, add a curve onto that. What we can do on our main logo there, we can go to Effect, Generate CC Light Sweep. Now this is a great effect which many people really don't seem to use. And you're going to see it's going to add this nice 
right sweep across our text. So if we match our direction on the right sweep to 30, and if we hit U on our blur there to bring up our keyframes, we'll go to the start of the composition to match this first keyframe. And on this light sweep layer, we're going to stopwatch on the center at the start, and we'll scroll forward to the last keyframe on our second layer, and we're going to drag that over the top. And you're going to see now when we scrub through this, we're also getting that nice highlighting look right in the middle there. On this CC light sweep layer, you can go ahead and play around with the edge intensity and also the edge thickness and the intensity of the light sweep there. And you're going to see that it's just going to add a nice sort of highlighting impact onto our text, which is really going to make it stand out and look great. So this was the first quick tip video onto creating a cool intro and the, some of the tips and tricks that we can do. I'm going to be uploading a video every day this week. So we're going to have seven tips and tricks onto creating a cool intro. I hope you enjoyed this first part one. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.